Hello everyone. So for those who don't know, I actually work in the solar industry as my day job. Uh, so day job solar, come back and do night stuff. <laughs> cool or what? Anyway, the reason I'm doing this video is there was a discussion at work that came up. Um, and essentially I, 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 I kind of monitor on how solar performs across the UK. Uh, it was one for better description. And by doing so, you get to understand certain data patterns and things that are happening and so on. But this particular um, home came up, we won't disclose where it was, but came up and it was performing better than it should. And more often in the winter. Now, I'll just do some basics about solar and then you can see where this might have come about initially. So, so what we've got is, again, solar basics. So, We've got the sun, which today is going to be quite, I've got a, a demo of this, this will this actually be quite good. So we've got the sun, and then we'll do over here, the house, with solar panels. Okay, so the rough explanation, well, I'm saying rough explanation, the basic explanation is, sun hits panels, and it gets converted to electricity. Uh, essentially it goes through an inverter, converts into direct current to alternating current and that's essentially what we use in the household electrics. Now, as, you, as almost common sense would be is the more sun you have, the more generation you get, which is fine. So in summer you expect to generate more than you would do winter. Now, there's a downside to solar in the sense that panels are not essentially as efficient as they can be when they get hot. So they get to a you know a certain temperature and then their, their efficiency kind of really starts waning. It's, it's an, for me personally it's an annoying feature of that but hopefully technology as we migrate and uh, get onto better panels it will actually iron all that out. But anyway so, so we expect to have more generation in summer and one of the things that this uh, system was doing, it was actually generating very well against its forecast in the winter. Now, that had us scratching our heads for a bit because we were thinking, well, how can that be? You know, it's, you don't generate as much in the winter as you would in during the summer. You've, you've got, a, there's a, a kind of a, a forecast. So, so that's January and that's December. You end up with something kind of like that. That's, really crude it's probably about right but it kind of gives you a so you've got the the winter months as it's obviously getting into peak uh, the summer solstice you generate more depending again uh, how you've got your panels orientated and pitched and so on and so on now but this particular system it was kind of above where it had been forecast uh, around this so but there was a scenario that I think is prevalent out there, and I'm struggling to find the information. So I'm, we're going to call it GAV theory. So I'm hopefully is going to come along, put in the uh, comments of the article. Uh, article, hmm? uh, the in the description about exactly what this is. So hopefully someone out there is actually um, really involved in so and wants to come along and comment. So anyway, so the key factor of this particular property it was near the sea, so. Did this earlier on a video, and it so anyway, it's near the sea. Now we've got twofold element here. Now, and this is this is where the theory comes in, and I've got I've got a, a practical example of where I think this may be happening. Uh, and for those who've got solar on the coast, I think it's going to be quite good. But anyway, so theory is is obviously in the summer. Uh, obviously, you've got a, a high arc like that, and in the winter you've got a lower arc. Okay, so winter. Okay. So we'll say that this one's the summer one. And then we'll put the one. And I know this is wrong, but you know it's just gonna give you a, a flavour of how I think it is. So that's the winter. Now my thoughts with this, you you've got three factors to it. Uh, one of the factors may 
maybe ruled in, ruled out, but I, I, I think it just needs more more information behind it. And this is the way I do like. So, so what I think I've got is I've got reflection that's happening up towards the panels. So that's one. So that is additional solar. We'll put it there just for solar generation. Or irradiance if you want to be accurate on that. Also what we've got is cloud. Now th this, this was the piece de la resistance. I can speak French. Uh, and what I think is happening in addition to this is certain criteria, certain patterns are happening. There might be certain weather events that actually do it. And whether it's on a daily uh, basis or you know, however it happens, and I don't know, I don't live near the coast, I'm essentially what, 40 odd miles away. But this, and if anyone can actually clarify it, this might be one of the factors. So if have got cloud, obviously, higher clouds, it's like today, you know, high level cloud. What I think can sometimes happen is what we're getting is not only this bouncing effect here, but then it's bounced on the cloud and then come back down. Now that seems absolutely bonkers, but I'm going to do the old theory and prove that I think it could be correct. Now, if you've got that, so, so that's more so a gent. Should not do videos first thing in the morning. So you've got solar generation increase via the reflection from water. You've got solar generation increase from there. Now, to me, you've got another factor, which again, it's going to be difficult to disprove. Oh, prove or disprove? No, it's going to be difficult to prove, I think. But what I think then is happening is you've got sea breeze. No, a breeze, I can't bother seeing. Oh, I can't even spell. God, then <laughs> you can tell that I'm not a teacher. Uh, so, so when you combine all these factors, so you've got panels that are actually having more solar radiation. So in theory, um, again, theory could be uh, generating more, which they are doing. The fact that they're actually running cool and cooler. Uh, I, mean, I don't think panels are going to get all that much hot. Well, they're not going to get hot in the winter anyway, but you know, getting, getting all these three combinations, could you have a scenario of increased solar generation? So when we forecast, and this is where I think there's a flaw in the forecast. So a, a forecast will take the size of the panel, its orientation, uh, its position in the world, so longitude, latitude, a uh, load of solar radiation data, and you know, they come up with a figure based on the type of panels, system loss, all sorts of other factors. I'll say, this is what we think it's going to generate over a year. Fine, tick in the box. But I don't think these fact this fact is actually built in because I think it's a very generic factor that's put in there. Now, this is where I could get shot to pieces, is there could be some form of model out there that takes that uh, reflection from the sea into account or something similar. But I don't think it's there. And I don't think it's been applied to this one personally but well and, and the reason why I don't think it is is obviously it's generating more in the winter time the summer time seems to be on par but I would expect because they've obviously got a higher angle of the sun it's it's not hitting it and also that it's getting hotter and it's decreasing the performance so so I've got a couple of factors that's making the summer time kind of about right but so there we go, so that, that's that, so that's the theory. Let's go on to the practical to show you how I've come to my gaff theory conclusion. Um, and again, if you've got any comments on this, I'd be appreciated to you just punch the keyboard away. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, so there we go. So in the, in the theory that I was putting on the board, uh, this is this is annoying actually this uh, slight cloud cover so it's actually going up sorry coming down as the clouds move but what we'll do is we'll just do the simulation of reflection of the sea so for that I'm using a mirror so if we just do that as you can see you've got a pretty big increase now 
a couple of factors to bear in mind. This is a 5 watt panel maximum. And as you can see, I've kind of just pushed it up there. Let's take it off again. So we get a decent increase. So that's that's one factor. Now the other factor then, for my cloud, I'm not going to break wind for it. Paper. Uh, so it's difficult to do at the moment, but if you were to look up, um, and I wouldn't, wouldn't suggest that you look into the sun anyway. But if you were to look up near the sun and look at the clouds, and you can see on how bright clouds are sometimes, uh, we can then get an sun. So again, watch the value. So if I come along here. It's not a big movement, but again, this, there we go, so that's, so we are getting an increase, and again, the thing is clouds are not uniformed or anything like that, and also they've got a hell of a lot more surface area than just this, so that's that, so, but if I was to then try and simulate my thought to this, now this is, this is where it's going to get fun, so, you will see the mirror coming in. So I've got, got my cloud cover coming on. Got my reflection of the sea. Take the cloud away. Take the reflection away. So you can see I, I do get an increase, which I think is quite. Do we get anything different? See if we can get as high as possible. I think that kind of gives you a flavour. That's where I've got to. The other thing I just wanted to do. This is just going to be a little bonus feature. Panel cleaning. Is this I need to get some stuff for? Oh, acetone. I'm going to actually use some of that for a while. Um, Obviously, you haven't got to go up and clean your panels on acetone, but it's one of the things that I do see from time to time where people have got um, solar panels and pigeons, birds, and it, they're just full of crap. So, see how much we get up to four, six, five at the moment. Nah. <laughs> oh, hold on. Might have got a little bit. That's going to be more the uh, actually the pitching it better towards the, the sun. So I can't I can't claim that as a, a true benefit. Anyway, we get the idea. Clean your panels. So so there you go. Let me know what you think in the description. I think that's. Uh, Interesting. Let's see if we can just get the. There you go. That's that's a better result, isn't it? So instantly, I've just got a, an increase. So is Gav theory correct? Let me know. Thanks.